But thank God, that was the in between people, what we call the loser mechanist community. Not a big number, but they were important to provide an interpretation for court, or they provide the functionary of the Macau government. The government came from Lisbon, could not speak the Cantonese tongue, and most of the senior civil servant judges in the Portuguese administration also had very limited Cantonese or written Chinese script ability. And most of the Chinese could not use Portuguese. So who filled the role as the middleman, the translator, interpreter? It is the mechanist who constitute the mid-level, the real backbone of the civil administration during the Portuguese era in Macau. And most of them are staying behind to the extent that you had a very valuable human asset who are by and large trilingual. They have native fluence in Portuguese because they were born and raised in Macau, to some extent also with the Chinese city, they had the Chinese language, particularly the Cantonese conversational tongue, and of course, as well-educated civil servants or technical experts and professionals, they also had sought the command of the English language. So you had the human asset called the luso mechanist community and they may be only 10,000, 12,000 people. Among a city now, Macau has half a million. But that little minority is more than just a bridge between Chinese and Portuguese culture. They are the Portuguese Macau and the Chinese Macau's what I call hybrid functionary. They make the Chinese side work, but they make the Portuguese side work. Now China wish there are more of them to help to function for this sino luso phone cooperation system. So Professor, you are saying that the Mechanese Portuguese Mechanese community is also an asset for the Portuguese foreign policy. Do you agree? Definitely. Because when I'm born in Macau, published, I know someone, 9, 10, 11 generation, they had very clear cultural affinity with, what shall I say, grandmother, great-grandmother in Portugal, and some of them are holding permanent residence permit issued by China's Macau government, but they are also holding EU Portuguese passport. So Portugal was and is their homeland, but in the more remote sense, grandmother, mother, mother. But China and Macau is their home. So they understand China as well as they had a sense of belonging, identity with Portugal. And it is precisely this kind of people who are bicultural, bifocal. They have the sensitivity to bridge the two sides, the Sino sphere and the Luso sphere. Particularly, they are promoting by servicing this mechanism of Sino Luso for cooperation that would be win win win. China would win, Portugal and the Lusophone bloc would win, and above all, the community of Macau, which are the very important minority mechanism, will win. So why couldn't they be part of it? Definitely, they are at the heart of this sino luso interface. And without them, Macau may not function well at all.